Welcome back to CBS Mornings, 8.30 now. Dancing in the Moonlight, that's former astronaut Scott Kelly performing a spacewalk back in 2015. Wow. Kelly had been a record holder for total days in space and also longest American space flight, spent more than a year straight on the International Space Station. And now he's out with a new book to inspire, inspire others to dream big. The book is called Ready for Launch, an astronaut's lesson for success on Earth. First on CBS Morning, Scott Kelly joins us now. Uh, Scott, good morning to you. Not lesson, lessons, plural. There's a lot in this book. I, I think the big mystery out the, off the top is, and Gail and I were both arguing over this quote. Like we, She wants to quote it as well. As a kid, yeah. your own grandmother evaluating your talents referred to you as, and this is a quote, dumb. Dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you go from dumb in the eyes of grandma to NASA astronaut? Grandma, who was tutoring you, by the way, and said, look, he's helpless. I can't teach him to read. He's dumb. Yeah, That's so. That's your grandmother. You know, sometimes <laughs> tough love, I think, can be helpful. And, uh, you know, hearing that from my grandmother was clearly a wake up. Having said that, it didn't inspire me to become a better <laughs> student, and it wasn't until I was in college struggling that I was able to find my own personal inspiration. You found a book, The Right Stuff. You were inspired yeah. by, the, by that book. Uh, what did you learn about the importance of failure on your journey from not so hot to pretty hot stuff? You know, I think failure is one of the imp most important lessons we can have in life. It, it shows us what we need to do to correct our course, uh, to be successful. I think that people you know, that aren't willing to fail, that aren't willing to take risk, that aren't willing to make mistakes, um, don't always see what they're really capable of achieving. They never, maybe never real, realize their goals because they're too scared of taking that risk. No, you also say it's better to fail at the extraordinary than to succeed at the ordinary. I love that. Yeah, absolutely, because I think it shows that you're not, you know, you're not striving to go further, not challenging yourself enough, not seeing where you really stand. In my case, I, uh, you know, the first time I ever tried to land an F-14 Tomcat on an aircraft carrier, I failed. And, uh, you know, I had the and option. You survived, yeah. And I did, and I had the option of going to fly an easier airplane, but I thought, you know, if I'm going to fail at something, I might as well fail at something I think I can't achieve, rather than something that's easier. At least then I'll know exactly where I stand and what I'm capable of. No, even the of. officer at the time said, are you sure this is for you? Is this what you want to do? Yeah. But you said use fear. You also say you should use fear in your favor, too. Most people do not want to be scared about anything. Mm -hmm. And you say embrace that. Yeah, I, I think it's part of life. I mean, we are humans. We are, you know, if we didn't have fear, we wouldn't exist. I mean, it's a normal human emotion. I think it's okay. You know, at times to be scared. I think it, you know, focus in, focuses in your your attention on what's important. You know, I, I love the chapter on leadership, and you talk about your experiences in Navy ROTC. I was in Army ROTC, and some of the lessons of leadership I learned mm -hmm. at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. You talk about assessing everybody that you're tasked to lead individually, and not having some sort of big overall arching principle when it comes to leadership. Yeah, I think it's important not to like choose, hey, I'm going to be this kind of leader for everybody because, you know, what I've learned uh, in my different roles as a leader, whether it's, you know, the commander of the space shuttle, the space station, is that we are all different. We're all motivated in different ways. We're, uh, so the leadership style has to be, you know, tailored to certain people. I mean, some people take very well to like the servant type leader, you know. What is that? Explain that. That's a really interesting concept. The servant type leader is someone that helps you do your job. What do you need to do your job to be the best, you know, employee that you can to do, to p perform at, you know, your highest level. And then there's, you know, there's different styles just based on, you know, based on your team and who you're trying to guide and lead. Yeah. I mean, part of what's special about the book is even though I think it's great for middle school, high school kids, even college age kids, uh, it's great for adults as well. Right. Yes. I mean, like fear, all saying you that. continue to manage throughout your life. Yeah. Uh, your first spacewalk was something you had to overcome fear, uh, even though by then you were an incredibly accomplished individual. Uh, and I love the line in the book. People always say failure is not an option. Yeah. No, <laughs> no. For Scott Kelly, failure is always an option. It, it was kind of my thing when I was younger, right? <laughs> uh, all right, Scott. Thank you very much for being here. We really appreciate nice it. Nice job. Best-selling author, nice former job. astronaut Scott Kelly. The book is ready for launch. It is on sale now. Wherever you like to buy your books. Come